Hello, good morning, it's Lisa here and welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. So it's been a while since I've done one of these because we've been in lockdown and here in New Zealand we're at level two lockdown now. We got here on Thursday and today is Saturday and we're actually in Kaikoura. So we've gone to the campsite which is right next to the beach and it just feels amazing to be here, to be out in the open, to be somewhere different than uh, our house and yeah it's really nice to just be here and experience it. So I thought I'd just show you a bit of a camp setup that we've got going on here. So luckily we're actually here all by ourselves so here we've got the van here. You've got a couple of, you've got like three spaces this way and then if we turn round, um, we've got two spaces here for some campers as well. It's quite funny because where we are, this is actually called Lover's Lane, which is um, a bit funny. Uh, they've done it so this is just adult only section, so it's a bit more private. You haven't got all the kids coming around you. I think that's a bit further down. But as you can see, we're right. I mean, this, there's the sea, it's right there. Um, and this is where we saw when we camped here last time we just saw loads of dolphins just coming across there so it was absolutely amazing and obviously we've got a camper here it's all set up ready um, with the kettle on so I'll just take you a bit of a look through the camper van because um, it's been a while since we've done that I haven't really made any changes but you know it's better light and there's no one here so I'll show you around so this is our Nissan El Grand Rider, I think it's a 2006 model and we've nicknamed it the Beast <laughs> but it's pretty cool. We did want a darker colour but actually the white one's absolutely fine but better hold on for a minute the kettle's going. So as it's boiled I might as well just clip to this for a moment so yeah we've got our camping set up here, we've got our kettle, our little camping stove that Kiwi Van Man gave to us and then we just got our bits and pieces, obviously tea, coffee, some um, breakfast bars and bananas in there. Um, but it's really great just to sit and have a cup of tea here, which is brilliant. And back to the camper van. As you can see, it's pretty spacious for us. So let me just show you in here first messy at the moment because obviously we're using it but really comfortable seats and um, have a lot of room you know massive dashboard and all this stuff in here unfortunately all of this is in Japanese because it's car imported from Japanese so that doesn't really work the radio works that's about it so we've got a sunroof on this one you probably can't see that much um, but really enjoy like the seats are really comfortable and you know any journey is absolutely fine in this and then on the back this bit here this is our camping setup where we've got the the water basin here and then some buckets in there and then this is our bed which is a mess because we've just got up and need to get changed and, and all of that so pretty spacious you can fit two people in there and I'll just show you from the outside from the back got a camping chair set up so that's pretty much what it looks like from the back of the van you know I'll try and show you later on when it's all set up just as a, a, a sofa but as a bed, it's a double bed, you've got room underneath for all your items, um, haven't got much in there at the moment. We've got a battery pack here in case we need it. And then inside we've got like a little shelf to put our stuff on. I think we're going to try and get something up here to hang our clothes on or just some little bits. And then we've got like a, a mirror down there and some hooks just to to keep things on and then these here are the kind of bit of privacy as well as a bit of warmth as well and then I'll just check take you to the other side and then this is just from the other side 
So there's our toilet because it is a freedom camper van. So you need fresh cleaning water, you need somewhere for the wastewater to go, you need a bin and you need a chemical toilet and there's a chemical toilet so never been used and probably won't be used <laughs> and here's just a better view of the driver's area so as I said loads of room really comfortable and uh, yeah it's a bit messy at the moment but definitely worth it I mean it was great having it Really great just to sit and enjoy the scenery and no one's here and you just got the beach right there it's just amazing. So the plan today is actually to climb up Mount Fife so it's a mountain that's that way. Never climbed it before and if you really want to do the round trip it's about eight hours long but not going to do that. I think we're going to go up for about two hours and then obviously two hours down so just to get up there and see some really nice views and not go too far off track but looking forward to that seeing a bit more of Kaikoura and So we're walking up Mount Fife now and um, we got to the car park about 20 minutes ago just started walking up here and it's quite a steep climb <laughs> from the get-go but the views are already stunning and we're not even halfway there yet probably not even a quarter of the way there yet it's good to get out in nature and just have a walk and just have the fresh air rather than being cooped up in the house all the time so really enjoying that this is the view that we can see at the moment. So Kaikoura is just over there. Um, I'm glad the sun's shining out on it so it looks really nice. So this is the lookout point and we're in the clouds. But you can see some of the beautiful coastline just about. That's Kaikoura Peninsula in the distance. Yeah, I'm pretty much in the cloud cover. So we've made it to the first lookout point and we've decided that we're going to stop here because as you can see behind me, the mountains up there and you can't see anything at all so there is pretty low cloud cover at the moment and so yeah we just stopped on this bench and we can see Kaikoura and it's looking beautiful so we're gonna go down and have a look around see what's open and try and put some money into the local community by buying food drinks and whatever else so we were just sitting on this bench here and look he's also made it here as well Frodo and Sam so we're back in the van now as you can see um, we did about an hour's walk up to the lookout and that was pretty hard going we're not very fit and then coming down again that was pretty hard going because you're um you know you're making sure that you can stop and your legs start to tremble so so we're gonna head to the town now and just have a look around and get a cup of tea and a cake maybe so but yeah all good having fun so far and lots of other walkers about but we are keeping our distance on the track so and so we're now back in the van, it's getting dusk outside, it's getting very cold outside. We haven't seen any dolphins as yet so hopefully we'll see some tomorrow in the morning before we leave. But it's been a really nice day just to get out and about and do some different things. So I'll see you in the morning. Beautiful morning here in Kaikoura. Fishermen are out. Morning! So it's Sunday morning here. It's a tad cold today as you can see from my hat 
and there's uh, snow on the mountains today, just a bit. So it was really nice to sleep in the van last night. It wasn't too cold, um, lots of covers on, um, although I think Dave kept waking up because it was cold. But um, yeah, he's there in the background, as you can see, just chilling out on the beach, trying to see if there's any dolphins. Um, the campsite is a bit fuller now, so every single thing here is taken. So I'll just show you. You might not be able to see with the light, so there's some there, and uh, there's some that way. Um, but yeah, it's been a really nice breakaway, especially after the all the time spent in lockdown so it's really nice we're probably just going to head back today because we've got a few things to do this afternoon but i hope you've enjoyed this video if you do give it a thumbs up and i'll see you next time for all our adventures as well bye